Every analytics leader and product manager is looking for the same opportunity in their first AI project, a quick win. I'm going to show you how to get a quick win with automated document processing. It is a straightforward solution, low risk, and guaranteed to be a winner among your business customers. After seeing this video, you'll know what automated document processing is and how to find opportunities for it at your company. Let's get into it. I'm going to primarily focus on what automated document processing is and what it can do. In part two, I'll show you how to install and customize the demonstration software, and we'll do a technical deep dive with Prolegos engineers. Links for everything down in the show notes. So let's start with an overview of automated document processing. This use case is appropriate for situations where you're handling at least hundreds of pages of documents per month. So that could be a couple of long documents such as big contracts, or it could be maybe hundreds of emails or chat conversations. Typically we see in most organizations, it's a situation where there's a tedious review process whereby people kind of have to manually review and edit and process these documents or a situation where they'd like to process them, but they just can't handle it because it's too tedious and would take too much time. So here is the basic workflow for automated document processing. You take in hundreds of documents per month, and these could be sent to you from some external organization, or they could be documents you generate internally. After that, there's usually a process to kind of find the right section. Of course, this isn't necessary if the documents are really small, like an email or a chat log. Finally, we get to the meat of the work and the workflow, which is the process of editing, categorizing, summarizing, basically doing whatever you need to do to the document. You can think of categorizing as sorting them. So for example, trying to determine if an applicant is qualified or if this is a good sales lead, if it represents an upsell opportunity for a customer conversation, situations like that. And finally, there's some sort of review and approve process that happens at the end. And this could be done by one employee or perhaps a manager. Increasingly, we're also seeing companies that are starting to include LLMs in the approval process as well. This workflow is everywhere. I've helped dozens of companies from two-person bootstrap startups to Fortune 100 banks develop AI strategies since I started ProLego six years ago. And every single one of them had this workflow in their company. Some studies suggest that 40% of all work in large institutions like governments, banks, and universities are spent doing just this workflow. It isn't hard to find opportunities for automated document processing at your company. When Prolego starts working with a new client, we begin by asking about what documents they currently manage and what they do with them. Most business users are able to quickly draw a diagram like the one I shared earlier. After the demo, I'll share some additional tips on how you can identify the best candidates for a quick win. I'm now going to show you how large language models can be used to process large documents such as contracts. In this example, you'll see how to provide directions and templates to GPT-4 so it can automatically edit and categorize documents. Since we don't have hundreds of contracts to process, we decided to use publicly available documents from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Every public company is required to file 10Q documents with the SEC, and each contains a section called the basis of presentation, which is information about the accounting principles and methods used by a company to prepare its financial statements. Here you see one for United Parcel Service. I'm going to show you how automated document processing can be used to make revisions based on a template, provide additional instructions to the GPT-4 model, and a simple review and approval process. So here's the demonstration. Behind the scenes is software that automatically finds and extracts the basis of presentation from 10Q filings. The original content is over here on the left. And on the right is the revised basis of presentation language, now written in language that a 10-year-old could understand using analogies from Legos. Notice also that the revision includes a joke at the end, albeit not a very funny one. So with this revision, a lawyer or whoever is reviewing this particular basis of presentation can now go on and make edits and load up the next documents. So for example, suppose that they wanted to change this to Article 10 of Regulation SL for Legos. How's that sound? And then we just hit next and it begins loading the next document. 
The system then loads the next 10 queue and the process continues. What is most interesting about this solution is that it is based on templates and instructions. So your legal team could revise them without having to rewrite the software. This type of solution is incredibly valuable for your AI strategy because it removes the dependencies on IT and allows business users to customize and modify it as they see fit. So let's take a look at the instructions and templates in this example. So here are the instructions and templates. First, there's the prompt instructions file over here on the left. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. It just says rewrite the following text to conform to the given template and include a funny joke at the end. And over on the right here, you have the template. So I generated this template with ChatGPT. I simply asked ChatGPT to prepare a template that would modify a basis of presentation to be understood by a 10 year old using Legos analogies. And this is what it came up with. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Now, as I mentioned, these instructions and templates are straightforward. They're also very easy to modify. In fact, let's do it right now. So here are some modified instructions that I gave to the large language model in this example using the same template. So it has the same review process, but I added some additional scoring here. And this is a classification exercise. I've asked the software to classify the basis of presentation on its level of transparency and to provide a rationale. So this is a simple way you can modify the solution so that it does more than just one particular function for your business. This is an example of creating capabilities that you can leverage to solve lots of different business problems in different ways. So let's see what it looks like. And here you have the results. On the left, once again, is our original basis of presentation. And on the right is the revised one. As you'll see, now it's a bit different. Of course, they're very simple as expected, but now they also include a transparency score classification at the end. So the model is given it a 3.5 out of five, and it's given reasons for its particular score. And of course, a business customer or a lawyer may disagree with that, and they may wanna change it to a 3.5 one, and then they could submit that and continue. As we will discuss with ProLegos engineers in part two of this episode, you probably don't need to retrain the model for this solution. Instead, you can take examples of past contracts and create generalized templates and instructions for GPT-4. So with that in mind, here are a few tips for finding a good quick win opportunity. First, identify a straightforward workflow, usually one team processing one type of document. If you sit down with a business customers and it shows a whiteboard with a lot of complexity or worse yet, if no one can explain the workflow to you, then it probably isn't the best place to start. A motivated business partner is always critical, as is accessible, low-risk documents. Documents that contain a lot of PII or sensitive information may not be the best starting point because you'll have to work through so many approvals to be able to use them for your first project. And while automated document processing is a great opportunity for a quick win, we still advocate taking a capabilities-based approach. Lay the foundation for scaling the solution to more complex business processes and more documents, such that you're not creating a hodgepodge of one-off solutions in your enterprise. In this example, I've demonstrated capabilities such as leveraging LLMs to make revisions based on templates and supplementing them with instructions that can be easily modified. As I said at the outset, the ubiquity of this problem and relatively straightforward nature of the solution makes automated document processing a great candidate for your first AI project. At the same time, I wouldn't categorize it as the killer app for AI in the enterprise. We'll cover that topic in the next episode of our AI strategy series. To make sure you don't miss it, sign up for ProLego's email newsletter and we'll send it straight to your inbox.